Um, yeah, good evening, everybody. Great to have you. Thanks, Shail, for your nice introduction. I'm really happy to uh, have the chance, uh, yeah, I have to say, <laughs> thanks to Corona, <laughs> um, to have you here and to give you an introduction about our Acting Natural. Um, to look into the um, product properties um, of our wonderful active ingredients, and this is really focusing on the protection and repair, we have to look into the origin of the product. So um, we, there is, uh, the functionality is really linked from where it is coming from. So on earth you have different environments um, like uh, salt lakes, hot springs. These are very lethal uh, conditions for an organism to survive. And even though that this is the case, you will find different organisms that stay healthy, stay happy in these environments. Um, and uh, these we call extremophiles. Um, the, this kind of adapted bacteria, these extremophilic organisms, um, produce a special kind of stress protection molecule. And this um, uh, protection molecules we call extremolites. This is actually linked, the, the name is expl self-explanatory, but uh, Extreme means extremo and, um, uh, uh, no, sorry, I mix things up, sorry. <laughs> Actin Natural is the best researched extremolite in the world. And uh, it is protecting small little beings in these harmful uh, environments. So if an organism has stress, it is accumulating a higher content uh, of Actin Natural. And this is resulting in a better stress protection of these um, little beings. So it got discovered in 1985 by Professor Dr. Galinsky. We call him the godfather of Actuin. And he found it in the desert uh, in Egypt in a little salt lake. He was uh, investigating on um, the organisms and chemical structures in these salt lakes. And he was taking a sample back to his laboratory and found life in that. And this was so surprising to him that uh, he was uh, yeah, um, putting more efforts to find out what is the uh, secret behind, and that was actually Actuin. Since that day, um, Professor Dr. Galinsky is actually discovering um, the molecule and um, doing its scientific work on that. We um, had been in a very close contact with him till yeah, actually last month when he got retired. So um, there is still a very strong connection to any kind of uh, scientific links um, with this active ingredient. And the great thing is about the protection benefits that you see in the bacteria, you can take that one-to-one -one from the cell protection there to the properties to the human uh, body. And we use it already in medical devices, cosmetics, in life science products, and also for animal health and care products. So actin is a natural amphoteric uh, neutral and unpolar water binding cycloamino acid. So it is, uh, has co cosmotropic properties. Um, that means it is binding water molecules always in the same structure and in the same way <clears throat> uh, around it. And this giving very stable um, complexes. And these um, shells, this complex, we call the actuin hydro complex. It has the capability to stabilize and maintain biological structures like cells and uh, proteins and enzymes and so on. Um, I will tell you more about the mode of action later on. So um, actuin natural protects the extremophiles from the environmental stress and the stress um, that is coming from the outside, so to say. And we can take this protection properties directly and transfer it to the human applications. To the composition and data, um, the name is BTOP actually natural, surely. Um, we have a small cycloamino acid derivative and it is a single molecule. As you can see in the picture, it is a very white and crystalline powder and it is um, uh, manufactured by a patented biotechnological fermentation process here in Dortmund, Germany. 
Uh, it has a wonderful water solubility. It dissolves clear and very easily. And we are working also on options for an oil soluble version. Um, more on that later or on request. And uh, we have, um, we call our actin always its formulator starling because you do not need a lot of lab work to work with our product. So it's um, due to the water solubility, you can add it to the water phase, um, hot or cold, it doesn't matter. And uh, as you can see, it works also in a very wide pH range. And so due to the, uh, due to the workability, uh, you can have it also for a 2.0 version of a hot seller of your product already. So if you want to update, um, a formula where you know it is working already very well in the market, you can add the one or the other claim to this by adding um, actin, formula, uh, actin natural to your formulation. And as there are nearly no crosslinks um, with other uh, active or um, ingredients from any uh, formulation, this makes it um, also nice uh, with the uh, stability. Okay, so it is a patented product. We have a 100% pure and natural uh, version here. So you find in the market also synthetic sources and minor uh, purity. And uh, it is EcoCert, Cosmos and Natural certified. We have a worldwide applicable uh, product. Um, it complies with vegan and halal and uh, is uh, of course preservative free. Coming to the mode of action. So where is this protection property coming from? Um, this is the, on the left side, you see our actin natural molecule and it is working um, on two levels. On the one side, it is working directly on the skin and on the other level, it is working on a cellular, more molecular level. So on the, um, it is always penetrating just to the first layers of the, of the skin. It is not going deeper than the epidermis. So at the dermis, um, there is no deeper penetration, but this is not um, necessary because the stress is coming from the outside and actin is buffering the stress from uh, there where it's coming from. So we can, uh, if you have questions on the penetration, I'm happy to answer that later on. Okay, the mode of action. So we have, uh, as said before, actin is uh, loving water. It is a cosmotrope. And so it is attracting the water molecules from its surrounding. And as you can see, it has always the same, um, the same structure around the actin molecule. And due to the preferential exclusive, exclusion behavior, the hydro complex that has been built has also um, the uh, attraction to the cell membrane. So the different water hydro complexes, so the actin plus the water, are moving towards biological structures and the cell membrane. And due to that, actin is also reducing the evaporation because the water is bound so strong around the actin that we can we could prove that the travel is significantly reduced. I have studies on that later on. To show you the stabilization and the protection of the cell membrane, we um, want to show you this picture here. So on the left side, you see that the, um, the water molecule is around above the cell membrane. And on the right side, you can see what happens with the membrane if the actin hydrocomplex is around. So um, the hydrocomplex is pushing the water molecules between the head groups with the effect that, the um, that the, we have an increased fluidity of the cell membrane, which is actually improving the activity of the cell and boosting the self-defense and repair mechanisms. In addition to that, of course, we have a higher number of higher, um, water molecules around. Due to that, we have, increased, uh, we have an increased hydration. Furthermore, the hydrocomplex is also reducing the stress from the outside. On the left side, you can see the stress is there and uh, the cell is reacting with the release of a stress mediator when the stress is going through. And this uh, release of a stress mediator is actually the beginning of um, yeah, the whole cascade that is bad for the body. 
uh, it, it is the start of inflammation, and inflammation is the start of um, uh, anti-aging, of reaction of the body, and so on and so on. So if acting hydrocomplex is around, the hydration, the shell is on top of the cell membrane, it is working like a buffer to the stress, and due to the stabilization of the cell membrane, we have also um, the case that the cell is just um, showing a significantly reduced reaction to this outside stress. I show you a little movie on that. That is giving you a better idea. So this is the actuin hydro complex. We have the red arrow as the stress factor and the cell damage as the red dot in addition. So the actuin is gathering the water molecules around it and moving towards the cell membrane, pushing it, the um, water molecules between the head groups and increasing the fluidity. The cell can just breathe better, as you may know. And this is how the protective shield looks like around the cell. So the cell is much more resistant against the outside stress. Here um, is the example in the normal situation. And also the proteins are disrupted. So if actin uh, hydrocomplex is around, we cannot eliminate the stress completely. But what we can do is that this reaction of the cell membrane on the protein is significantly reduced. And this is a mode of action that is coming from nature. We have not invented it. We've just found a way to copy it very good. <laughs> Talking about it. So um, production process. Uh, this is produced by a patented and sustainable exclusive, BTOP exclusive fermentation process. And we have cultivated a BTOP specific non-GMO strain for that. It's called Halomonas elongata. Is coming from the Dutch Antilles uh, years back in time. Uh, we have to say, I mean, we are, we know what we do. We are producing Actuin since uh, for more than 25 ye years now. And uh, the version that you see here um, is our new production process, BTOP Next, um, which is uh, set up in our new production in Dortmund, running now since last year. And we have improved our uh, production, but the main parts are of course still the same. So um, we are uh, during the purification process after the fermentation, we are moving the microorganisms and other impurities and uh, going through different kind of uh, filtration, um, dialysis, chromatography, and after that we are drying and crystallization, uh, crystallizing the product, and in the end we get our wonderful actually natural. We are just producing one quality of actuin in our production. So also for the medical devices, we are uh, producing the same product according to um, the quality standard DIN ISO 485, uh, 13485. And um, the only difference is, is by documentation because the actuin uh, for medical devices has different um, documents, uh, re documentational requirements than for cosmetics. But you can be restless assured, we have just one quality. And uh, in addition to that, we have been able to reduce um, our um, electricity and water consumption, CO2 consumption with the new, um, new production. So in case sustainability is a big topic, we can share you also additional information on the green production of Actuin Natural. Coming to the efficacy. So what I would like to show you now are the most important uh, studies that uh, we made on Actuin Natural. We have more than this. So in case you are looking for the one or the other claim, get back to our partner and ask for that. I'm sure that our database will give you, um, that we are able to provide you additional data. We are constantly working and investigating on our, our raw materials. And um, in case there is something missing, we are always happy to receive your in input on additional studies that we do annually. 
start. Okay, let's start with the anti-aging effects. This is an uh, in vivo clinical study, a double blind and co placebo controlled. We did that with 24 female volunteers in the age of 30 to 60 with normal dry and sensitive skin. And we applied 2% actin natural versus a placebo cream twice daily for 28 days in the face and measured different targets. So scaling, roughness, wrinkle volume, elasticity and smoothness. And we have been happy that we are, uh, could significantly reduce all of these parameters versus the placebo. The major parts here um, to mention is uh, that we had been able to um, reduce the roughness by, um, by 68% and improve elasticity to 82%. The next study that we did was an anti-wrinkle efficacy study, also in vivo. It was done with 10 female um, volunteers, 45 to 65 years old. And this time we used the cream with only 0.5% of actin natural. Um, you may know, okay, the, the first study that I showed was, was 2%. Um, we, took, we try uh, in our studies always to <clears throat> to use the full band of our usage recommendation for the act in this goes from 0.3 to 2 percent so here we work with a lower concentration again for four weeks and we use the outer cornea of the eye so the crow feet area so called and after that we do we measured different types of uh, wrinkle so we had the um uh, the mean wrinkle depths the deepest wrinkle the overall vol uh, volume of the wrinkles, uh, the wave depth, and the mean roughness. And numbers are always very impressive. And you can see that those uh, is already significantly reduced in all parameters. However, what I always like to show in this case is our pictures. And for this study, we do have some. <laughs> Um, here you can see uh, that the actoin was used always versus the placebo um, on the same uh, person. And on the left eye, we have tested our 0.5% virum and on the right side, the placebo. And uh, as you can see, we had been visually uh, be able to reduce the, um, the wrinkle depth in the crowfeet area. The next study is the skin barrier repair. I told you before, that is the great protection capability of actually natural and um, that also that we have been able to reduce also the transepidermal water loss. This study is proving uh, these claims. And we tested it also versus the gold standard for um, the transepidermal water loss. This is the hydrocortisone cream Ibinol. So we tested 1% actin in natural versus 0.2% uh, hydrocortisone even no cream and the placebo. The 0.2% are a valid number uh, for the concentration of the transepidermal water loss compared to air 1% actin in natural. So it was a double blind randomized placebo controlled clinical study. And uh, it worked out like this. We stressed the skin with sodium dodecyl sulfate on the day one and the damaged skin uh, to damage the skin barrier, of course. And after that, we applied the product, the virum and the positive control for seven days on the inner forearm. And after that, we measured the skin redness and the transepidermal water loss. So. Here comes the results. We are happy to announce that our Acto in Natural was able to reduce the transepidermal water loss by 24% and the skin redness by 38% after seven days of treatment. And uh, this is really coming from the um, anti-inflammatory and repairing properties of our Acto in Natural. And uh, even though, uh, or in addition to that, we have been able to beat the positive control. Um, so we have been either equal or even better than the hydrocortisone cream, um, but without any negative effect. 
um, if you may know, if you use a uh, hydrocortisone or cortisone for a longer period, it will have the effect that your skin will thinen, and this um, effect will not happen with actually natural. Another big topic these days is the blue light protection. And we had been able to prove there is an effect. I mean, of course, it's known that blue light has an effect on the skin. We had proven that also uh, that our actin natural is protecting against this irradiation. This was an ex vivo model with uh, human living skin explains from a Caucasian female donator. And we used an aqueous solution containing 1% of actin natural versus a placebo. So it was a topical treatment with one microliter liter, uh, uh, um, per explant for four days. And then we stressed it with uh, an exposure of 65 joules per cubic centimeters on day four. This is um, approximately the same amount of light, blue light um, if you are sitting in front of a tablet for half an hour. And the sampling of the skin explant was on day five. And we measured two. Um, uh, two proteins. The one was the NRF2, which is a key transceptional factor for the response to uh, oxidative stress, and uh, MC1R, which is the melanocortin 1 receptor, and he is a marker for pigmentation. So blue light induced pigmentation or irrigate, um, um, due to irradiation. And the results here were measured by amino staining. So we have um, made the reaction of the skin explants visible by a staining process, which is a standard um, yeah, profile to, to make that visible. Um, the, what you see here is that the darker the red dots are, the higher is the amount of the protein that we wanted to test. So on the left in gray, you can see the control. And on the right side, you see um, the explants treated with 1% actuin. And uh, it is pretty visible that the skin explant treated with actuin natural and irradiate, irradiated with blue light showed a significantly lower NRF2 content versus the control. So this is the proof that we have been able for to reduce the oxidative stress response of the cell to blue light. And what is about the pigmentation? And also for the pretreatment of the skin explant with 1% actin natural, that reduces also the blue light induced melanogenesis. And um, the treated explants with actin natural showed a lower concentration compared to the control and uh, this is the proof for the prevention of pigmentation um, by using our actually natural in the cream. Furthermore a um, big topic these days is pollution. I, we have uh, a full whole uh, presentation just on pollution. So in case there is any interest, please get back uh, to Shail and the, his sales team. I'm very happy to, to give a second uh, presentation just on uh, pollution, what it is and how um, our acting natural can um, fight against pollution. However, we have here just the extracts of um, the, the studies that we made on this. And uh, this is an in vivo uh, study, clinical controlled, uh, double blind and randomized. We took only six people for this study because uh, we have made um, studies for our medical devices already in the past on lungs with more than 200 test persons. So we know that our product has an effect on the human body and on the lungs and on mucosa. And uh, we just tried to make a, a, a in vivo study for anti-pollution to prove also the re reaction of the body on the skin. So for that, we took a cream containing 1% of actin natural and a placebo. And we applied it twice daily on the inner forearm uh, for five days. And on day five, we stressed the skin with uh, cigarette smoke. 
and for as the pollutant for 15 minutes in a standardized pollution chamber. And uh, cigarette smoke is containing more than 250 toxicological significant chemicals, including the carcinogenic chemicals. So this is a very good, um, yeah, test parameter for pollution. And um, after the 15 minutes, uh, we measured the concentration of melanodialdehyde in the skin. And uh, this is uh, um, MDA is a result of the peroxidation of the skin lipids. And so we can show the reaction to the stress from the outside. Um, we did that already quite a while uh, ago. And by that time, this um, the study was the gold standard um, and was really the first clinical protocol available for anti pollution. It was a German. Uh, institute independent, so all uh, all the studies that you see are done on an uh, from an independent institute. We do not do any in-house studies, and uh, to to prove what what we test. And um, for this study, the gold standard by that time was vitamin E, and vitamin E was able to reduce the um, MDA concentration by twenty five percent. The Institute was pretty surprised to see our results, and we are happy <laughs> um, to say that we are still the gold standard in that institute for the testing um, of anti-pollution reduction. So we have been able to um, reduce the pollution-induced MDA content in the skin by 48% versus the placebo. And this uh, actor natural is capable to shield the skin from the whole spectrum of air pollution contents. And for a complete instant protection and prevention for pollution and your skin damage. So, um, as said, we have uh, airborne pollution is containing from various contents, and um, the very harmful contents are the one that can, cannot shield from the skin, so everything below PM 2.5. And uh, due to the protection and stabilization of the cell membrane, actuin is reducing the cell reaction to this pollution. pollution. So we cannot make, um, we will not shield the skin against the pollution. It's not a cover like you might imagine from, from a plastic sheet or things like that. No, this is, this is not. The pollution will go into the body. We cannot... Um, avoid that, but we avoid the inflammation that is caused due to this uh, um, incorporation. And uh, so even though that these particles will go into the skin, the skin is just not reacting. One part of, the, of airborne pollution is soot. And uh, to show also that uh, what I have said just a couple of minutes ago, is the proof we made this ex vivo study. And it was made with fresh human epidermal keratinocytes from Asian and Caucasian female. And we used a solution of two millimole actin natural versus a placebo. And uh, the explant got pre-treated with the uh, actin natural solution and stressed afterwards with fine and ultra fine particles. So everything also below um, PM 2.5. <clears throat> and um, there's uh, different kinds of exhaust. exhaust. <clears throat> and after that, we measured the POMC, the pro opium melanocortin marker expression, and uh, this is a marker for pigmentation. And as you can see, no matter what particle or suit we used for stressing the keratinocytes, there was nearly no reaction, um, no upregulation in the um, uh, keratinocytes that got treated with actuin natural. So uh, we could prove to stop the induced <clears throat> upregulation of POMC in the skin cells. Another protection that we could prove was on uh, UV light on a cellular level. This was in in vivo um, placebo controlled in, uh, study. And here we have used also the minimum usage recommendation concentration of 0.3% uh, and 0.5% versus a placebo. We used uh, the, the cream twice daily. <clears throat> the volunteers used the 
cream twice daily for 14 days, again on the inner forearm. And after that, we stressed it with 1.5 MED um, to measure the uh, vitality of Langerhans cells. Because Langerhans cells are the best, uh, or are one part in the human skin um, that are the first reaction on the, uh, the, drug, the destruction of uh, by UV light. And you can see that on the first, uh, the first column is the untreated, the second one is untreated and irradiated, and the two blue barns are the results for um, the pre-treated carotenocytes with 0.3 and 0.5% of actinine natural. And uh, both uh, samples gave already significant um, protection and already with 0.5% you will re, um, get a 100% protection of Langerhans cells from UV induced damage. However, I have to highlight here, um, actually natural is not a UV filter. We are saying that uh, uh, a cream containing 0.5% of actually natural is boosting the self-defense of the skin for um, approximately an SPF of 10, so 10 minutes longer in the sun, based on a Caucasian woman. However, as said, it is not a UV filter. So uh, for a real SPF, we always recommend to um, add a UV filter to your formulation. However, if you put actual in an addition, this gives a great boosting effect. One of the big highlights of Actuin is uh, the long-lasting skin hydration. We made an in vivo study, again, only with five test persons because we have uh, already proven results from our medical department um, for uh, this efficacy. And we made the test uh, with normal and dry skin um, on, with a cream containing 0.5 and 1% of Actuin natural versus a placebo. And we applied the cream, um, the, or the test persons applied the cream for uh, 12 days, twice daily on the forearm. And uh, from day 13 to 19, there was no application. After that, we measured, uh, we measured the uh, different days, so day 0, 8, 10, 12, and again on day 19 after the application stops for seven days. And um, the great result here is you can see that the skin hydration was piling up. And even though that we have stopped the application for seven days, there is still a, a strong hydration um, uh, reaction of the skin versus the placebo. We made that measurement only with 1%. Um, because, because honestly, it was a surprise for us that the effect is so strong. Um, but we will repeat that study uh, this year with different um, concentrations and also in combination with glycine natural. So this is the plan. Um, but what we can say and what, the, what this study is already proving is that there is a long lasting hydration effect based on the repairing properties uh, and the consequent enhancement of the restoration of the skin barrier. So the mode of action is already, is the, uh, of course, the explanation for all these effects. But this is one of really, a, a really strong study that um, is making, a, uh, is highlighting these uh, hydration effects. Last but not least, I would like to show you our, um, our study on whitening and lightening on the efficacy here. It was an in vivo study uh, with 22 volu uh, volunteers. Um, we made that study on a metropolitan con on met metropolitan conditions in Bangkok uh, with uh, 22 uh, females in the age of 36 to 60 years. They all were phototype three or four and had at least one uh, pigment spot in the face that was bigger than three millimeters. They were applying one percent actin natural. Um, in the face and twice daily for uh, three months actually and we measured then um, the uh, by a spectral colorimeter different effects it was the depigmentation 
reduction of pigmentation. And then there was also a subjective questionnaire. We could prove that the skin lightness was significantly increased. Um, the border of the significance here was but with 1%. So um, we achieved that already also after 56 days. And uh, the great thing about it is that we have observed 100% of the test persons that, um, here for the depigmentation effect. So we have been able uh, overall to reduce to uh, this uh, the skin pigmentation up to 25, uh, 28%. In addition to that, we measured the variation of the spot to the normal skin. And um, that was the reason why we wanted to have a pigment spot of minimum three millimeters in the face. And here we have been able to decrease the variation between the skin and the spot up to 25%. And the subjective, uh, subjective questionnaire gave the feedback that nearly 100% of the uh, uh, volunteers um, had been satisfied by the efficacy of the 1% cream. Where can actually natural be used? Actually in all kind of cosmetic applications. So uh, we have the skincare, face and body, uh, or whitening ex um, formulation, sun and pollution protection, as well as for scalp and oral care. For scalp is to mention that it is not a hair care product, it's really a, a scalp care product. We have customers using it in, um, in colorants to reduce the irritation effect. And for oral care, we have, uh, um, it is a wetting agent. We have a mouthwash, um, which uh, for our medical devices, for example. So it's proven that we have this caring effect here. Uh, it can be used in color cosmetics. As soon as there is a little water in there, it uh, will be um, wonderful to use. We have also lipsticks where it is used in, and you can use it also as a powder. Uh, in addition to that, it is 100% safe, so you can use it also in baby care. Um, symptomatic treatments of inflammatory skin diseases like eczema and atopic dermatitis, contact uh, uh, dermatitis or psoriasis, uh, we are treating those, um, those diseases already with our medical devices. And um, again, to highlight, the product is 100% safe. Oh, even if we give uh, usage concentration, talking about safety, um, of 0.3 to uh, 2%, I would like to highlight that in uh, our medical devices and also in some cosmetics, especially in Korea and Japan, go up to 7% in the formulations. So you can claim, these are just uh, some claim ideas. So uh, there are, um, more claims, you can combine claims. We have customers using actually the same um, formulation uh, over several years, just using different claims. <laughs> so um, this is a multifunctional, uh, um, multifunctional uh, active ingredient and um, that gives you also the opportunity to um, make the claiming pretty creative, depending on the product application. You have global anti-pollution, blue light protection. You have the protection from environmental induced skin pigmentation and aging. Um, it improves skin appearance and conditions and health. We have the long term skin hydration also after seven days. Stopping, this is nothing to claim, but <laughs> always to mention. It's strengthening the barrier function and supports repairing uh, lightens uh, the skin, reduces the pigmentation, and reduces erythema and skin irritation. In general, it is visibly transported, uh, transforming dry scale and rough skin into healthy, hydrated, and supple skin. Two more words to be top. We have been founded as a university spin-off in 1993, so really a long history. We are still a very scientific-driven company located in Dortmund. 
and uh, we are thriving ultra high quality uh, biotechnological te raw materials. So also our glycine natural with our, uh, which is our second raw material is um, uh, produced in this production process under ISO 13485 and we use it for cosmetics, life science and uh, healthcare industry. And since then, we are also producing medical devices according to these high standards. We're working on Pharma GMP. This will be done within this year. We are still working on all the documentation. So uh, we expect the final um, certification uh, in the next year. This brings me to the end of this presentation, but I have, uh, in addition to that, uh, also some products I'd like to show you and give you some more background, uh, just a little, <laughs> on the second active ingredient. Um, just give me one sec, I will switch the presentation. One moment. Here we go. Okay, I hope you can see that. Um, this is a presentation which we are working on actually day by day. So whenever there is a new launch, we are, we are working on uh, adding products here. Um, this is, these are 1000 different cosmetics products worldwide that we found by now. Um, as said, this is always improving. These are example formulations where our ingredients are used in. And uh, this is free to share. So whenever there is interest, we're working on a different shape because uh, it is really a lot that we can go through. I would la just like to um, start with that. And uh, maybe this can be done also a little bit like a, um, on request so if you have some product where you say oh my god i'm looking for this and that claim let me know and i can switch through the presentation to see whether i found a, a product that you that i can share um, however what you can see is that there are always a lot um, that the big um, or some of the big uh, producers use it in whole series in the product i'm just flying through those and it is actually um, used all over the world. <clears throat> this is a Chinese one for babies. I'm just using glycoin natural. And um, for glycoin natural, I would like to use the opportunity to highlight one thing. Um, if we talk about actuin, uh, it is something, it, it is an active ingredient for protection and repair. These are the care pro, uh, core properties for actuin natural. If we talk about glycoin natural, it is um, instant hydration and resurrection. So it is really boosting cell functions. It's giving back power to the cell. Um, pushing cells back to life. And uh, if, if you look to the hydration, we have the long time hydration for our actually natural, but it needs a while to pile up to get its power for this claim. For active, for glycoin, it is the other way around, so to say. So with one application, you get the full power of hydration, of instant hydration, similar to the high molecular um, uh, hyaluronic acid but without the sticky touch. So actuin, uh, so glycoin natural always give you a smooth and supple skin feel after the application, which you have not with hyaluronic acid. And that is also the reason why you have uh, a lot of formulations in the market where they are combining the two uh, ingredients in, the, uh, in their formulation. <clears throat> 